Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we receive the immense and priceless love of the Father for us, His children. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's immense love for us, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, 
When Israel was a child, I loved him. Out of Egypt, I called my son. The more I called them, the farther they went from me. Sacrificing to the Baals and burning incense to idols. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, who took them in my arms. I drew them with human cords, with bands of love. I fostered them like one who raises an infant to his cheeks. Yet though I stooped to feed my child, they did not know that I was their healer. My heart is overwhelmed, my pity is stirred. I will not give vent to my blazing anger. I will not destroy a frame again, for I am God and not man, the Holy One present among you. I will not let the flames consume you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth. Rouse your power. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man whom you yourself made strong. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Please stand. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick. Raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, Go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. 
my dear brothers and sisters, we have been listening in the past days from the sending of the disciples in their missionary journey. In fact, on Sunday, last Sunday, we heard this passage from the Gospel of Luke. But today, we hear this sending of the disciples from the Gospel of Matthew. And Matthew interestingly adds one line. Matthew added, Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Tinanggap nyo ng hindi nyo binabayaran, ibigay nyo rin ng hindi kayo nagpapabayad. Jesus is reminding His disciples today not to count the cost. Because when you start counting, you will always see the amount and you will not appreciate the value. Kapag bilang tayo ng bilang, ang nakikita palagi natin ay presyo. Binibilang natin bawat gawain, bawat trabaho, pero hindi natin nakikita ang tunay na halaga. Kaya nga siguro naririnig natin, palagi nyo sigurong naririnig ito, count your blessings. Pero gusto kong sabihin sana, do not just count your blessings. Learn to appreciate every blessing. Because when we start to count, then we will always see the cost and not appreciate the value. Kapag bilang tayo ng bilang, magsisimula tayong magkaingitan. Ah, bakit siya mas maraming blessing? Ako ito lang. When you start to count, then we will be jealous of one another. We will be envious of the blessings of each other. We will see not the value of the blessing, we will always see the cost of the blessing. And when we also start counting, then we will not see the value of the person. Sometimes, we put a price on the person. Kaya nga minsan, no, kapag ka, halimbawa, kumain tayo sa labas, and there is a server or a waiter, na minsan inaabuso natin yan. No? Sige, utusan mo lang, bayad kasi yan. <laughs> Sometimes, we look at the person not of his value, but of the price that we have paid. We do not count the cost according to Jesus. We need to appreciate the real value of the blessing. That is why in our first reading today from the book of the prophet Hosea, the Lord God tells Israel, As a father to you, my children, I do not count your cost. Yes, you may have committed many sins against me. I loved you as a child, but you went far from me, he said. I taught you how to walk, Ephraim, but you did not listen to me and you did not recognize me. But God said, As a father, I do not count your cost. Bilang magulang, hindi ako naggumagawa ng listahan. Ilan na ang kasalanan mo? Ilan na ang nagawa mong kabutihan? 
Kasi kapag gumawa ang Diyos ng listahan, sa tingin ko mas marami tayong nagagawang mali. Pero ang Diyos, bilang ating mabuting ama, hindi niya binibilang ang halaga natin. Nakikita niya ang tunay na halaga natin nang hindi nagbibilang. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Mass, let us be reminded not to count the cost, but let us see and appreciate always the real value of the blessings of God and the love of God for us. Amen. Please stand. We are included in God's eternal plan. Each of us has been chosen in Christ for some hidden purpose. Our prayerful petitions come before the God who knows and cares for us. For every petition, let us say, God of generosity, hear us. God of generosity, hear us. That the church may continue to call and send more missionaries to preach the salvation of God. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of generosity, generosity hear, hear us. That people who are confused or lacking self-respect may learn of God's plan for them. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of generosity, generosity hear, hear us. That mercy may be shown to those who reject God's messengers and the truth they bring. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of generosity, generosity hear, hear us. That the seriously ill may welcome the sacrament of holy anointing. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of generosity, generosity hear, hear us. That the faithful departed may join Christ in the final glory of his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God of generosity, hear, hear us. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you have adopted us as your children. Help us to appreciate your many blessings as we offer our prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name Purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.